Hello, this is BK speaking. Welcome to the second part of the tutorial and overview of the class 95 Steam Loco. A Loco which was built 45 times, has 127 tons of mass and a maximum speed of 65 km per hour. The power is 1192 kilowatts. First, let me show you what's in the pack and how to use it on any route you have. Let's select the Seaberg Barn, which is Sea Mountain uh, workshop version. We select one of the supplied uh, scenarios or we create a new one. So here we are, a little scenario and to get to uh, the locos and the material we have to select now romantic railroads. Make sure that rail vehicles and scenery is checkmarked by a green mark. Now let's go to track infrastructure and we add something like uh, oil tanking device so the locos can have their oil filled we place it in the scenario somewhere, place the marker for the track and then fine-tune the position of this crane to fill the loco. So we move it a bit outside and opposite to the track marker. Then, for example, we go to another track and put their stake wagons. Stake wagons, there are six delivered with a pack. Here we have the first one, double click on it and you have on the right side a fly out. You can load it. <coughs> I'm sorry. So let's have another stake wagon with the Deutsche Reichsbahn for example. Double click load it and it's a different box by the way it looks the same but it's different and then we use one with hand brakes and click on it load it and it's a tube okay let's close up a bit and put maybe another car in front of it and it's a huge box. Okay, track infrastructure. Now let's go to a loading gauge which is functional loading gauge. All the menus are in English in your version. By the way, I'm using here the German version. So place it, track item and move it up a bit and center it over the tracks. It's moving and closing when the train is coming. So now we have uh, a loading crane just behind it. We put it down and then turn it. So you have the loading item next to the track. So, that's a little wagon from the forwarding company Copania. We adjust it a bit, so now it's ready for loading. The stake wagons, we select another stake wagon from the Deutsche Bundesbahn with the brake hut. Here we have it loaded and it's a Copania chest loaded on it. Then we use another one loaded and it's the Copania wagon. Now let's have another loading crane from the Deutsche Reichsbahn. We have DB and DR, Deutsche Reichsbahn. We select this one on the other track, for example. Put the track marker 
and adjust it a little bit to be centered on the track. Next thing to do is maybe going to buildings. We select buildings and there's all items delivered with a pack are called Enrico something. Enrico something and we take here the forwarding company DB. It's a huge house. We put it near to the loading crane, turn it to adjust it to the track. We have a look from the side to okay it's to be turned by 180 degrees so more or less now it's right fine tuning a little bit the position and here yeah, we have to turn it a bit more well now it's now you can tune fine tune the height with a socket okay and now you have a forwarding building next to the loading crane here we have a loco shed you have to click on the black box above it to turn or to manipulate the loco shed otherwise we have troubles with the animated elements around for example if you click loco shed itself the house and turn it you see immediately that there's something wrong with the animated elements around it so always use also the inside the animated figures inside don't get to the right position if you move the house directly always use the black box above the loco shed so now we add a loco and we take the rusty one, expert, we put it here and click. Here it is. We use the driver, check the driver mark and click on the loco. So it's ready to drive. And we can, and double clicking, adjust the, f the amount of coal and water in the loco uh, before you start. You see here the coal mass and if you adjust in the editor the amount of coal you see and also the water you see immediately the effect on the loco now let's uh, put another chimney a roof a huge chimney next to the forwarding company adjust it a bit yeah, here we are. Height, okay, it's sunken. Okay, and when you are done, click on the save button, right, and save the scenario. And in no time, you are in the middle of the game. Here's the rusty loco, you can drive it if you want, you can load as you've seen in the first uh, tutorial uh, but I just want to show you uh, what you can do with the editor and all the items the locos and wagons are found under romantic railroads romantic RR and the equipment is in Rico something okay here are all the locos and some of the uh, devices but now I want to show you the standard scenarios delivered with it. We have the first one is expert and the counter pressure break. Regenbach type and it's implemented. Here we uh, it says go downwards and use the counter pressure break. Don't use the normal break. Okay, the counter pressure brake means you cut off the chimney from the cylinders and connect it to the outside air and compress the air in the cylinders when you got don't go downwards. But for this you have to follow certain steps 
which you have to read carefully in the manual. It's uh, printed on the boiler header head, but uh, only in German, of course, and in the um, in the manual it's explained in English. Okay, here we are. We uh, start forward. We are on the station plot. A flat area. We start forwards to get to the to the area where the track is going downhill, a steep hill on the Seebergbahn. Okay, whistle a little bit. Now we push up the regulator and take some speed. So. But as soon as your heavy train is reaching the area of descent when the crate is going down, you close the regulator, you turn, you, you open the, the chimney cutoff. So chimney cutoff open to the fresh air, the pressure neutralizer you open and now this is the choke and with this choke you get all the braking effort uh, you you need to break the whole train but don't get more than five atmospheres you can see on the chest uh, uh, pressure meter okay our speed is uh, 45 at the moment we take a bit more of the choke and because hot air compressing is uh, affecting the temperature in the cylinders you have to cool it by injecting boiler water into the cylinders now I relieve a little bit the, the choking and here the all, uh, water injection and always carefully uh, check the temperature the pyrometer so we are 30 kilometers per hour now so we can close a little bit more the water injection we open the choke so th that we can take a little speed <coughs> but not too much don't go beyond 40 kilometers per hour so we're breaking the train again with a choke. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so when breaking with a choke, ah, we are approaching a tunnel. So we have to close the firebox door, of course. Otherwise, you get a fatal incident. So now we can we cool a bit more the cylinders because it's closing to the 300 degrees centigrade temperature and you should not exceed it. Don't use the normal brakes, only use the Regenbach counter pressure brake to get your train under control. So there's another tunnel. I don't like tunnels too much but the functionality of the of the brake <laughs> is of course independent of tunnels or not. So we have still 30 kilometers per hour. That's okay. These are the two wheels, the choke upwards. This is the choke to brake or relieve the brake, the counter pressure brake. And watch carefully the temperature. If it's getting too high, use this water injection device to cool it down. Okay, you will not have a lot of time when going downhill to admire the landscape and the nice 
surroundings you have carefully you have to be carefully watching the instruments so we are c coming closer to 300 degrees cooling is more now now it's falling a little bit again and we have okay whistle is good <laughs> Thirty-five kilometers per hour. Finally, we leave the tunnel. And now I'm closing the water injection again. You see, the temperature is climbing. When I'm using the choke. Okay, the overpressure because the engine of course is not used. Now we we pass 300 degrees and you will see on the right hand corner a warning pushing up. First I wanted to imp implement uh, an emergency brake, but uh, I don't want to penalize you too much if you mishandle the system, so I left it with a warning. Uh, there it pops up, the temperature in the cylinders is rising too high, the greasing is interrupted and the oil is burnt. Okay, so we have to use, of course, the water injection to cool it down and relieve that show the shock so yeah now the temperature is going below 300 again of course the speed is rising because no braking effort is Applied. Okay, we fall below the below 300, 250, and uh, okay, the whistle is still okay. <laughs> Over pressure, and the now the train is too fast, and I have to to break it down a bit before I can show you the inverse example of the temperature effect I want to have the speed a bit down first now we are approaching 40 kilometers per hour which is quite okay we have a high pressure in the cylinder chest you see six atmospheres okay I relieve the brake now I leave the I leave the water injection on and the temperature is falling below 200 now and we will see again a warning without any emergency brake here we are, the temperature in the cylinders is too low, too much water, the greasing is interrupted and the oil is washed out. Okay, close the water injection, apply the brake again and the temperature is rising to a normal value. Always keep this, this game between choke and water injection in your mind keep the temperature in sound levels okay we do th don't use the engine so the over we can close the windows with the key V there are no wipers so we have to open and close the window so we are coming close to a leveled area speed is now 20 the little 
wheel is the bell wheel it's air pressure driven you can use it whenever you want okay so we are outside of a tunnel so we can op open the firebox inspection hole with a big scale you do the oil injection amount with water pressure and the small lever is oil amount injected it makes a lot of noise the burner but the boiler pressure is already high so and the temperature is okay so we close the water injection getting closer to a leveled crate near the city of Berndorf okay everything is in good condition temperature is okay choke pressure ah I see a red pre-signal AVS warning is coming up you have to press watch out and you should stop the train in front of the next signal in danger you can use first the counter pressure brake but to get to a full stop you should use the train brake as well so here we are we close the oak we close the chimney cutoff and the pressure neutralizer we put the reverser the reverser to forward it was always reverse now on the driving downhill forward and then we can go again passing the signal oh the temperature in the locker is too low too much water we forgot to close the water injection okay that's our counter pressure experience we have now and let's have a look at the next scenario which is as well a standard scenario and it's a oil oil expert the mountain is calling it's called hello take a very heavy Freight train uphill you have a helper loco to help you reach your goal okay here's the oil fired loco and this is a old car old oil um, it's a coal fired helper loco okay we have to s switch the manual switches but first of all we have to wait for a train coming downhill here it is already so when this train past switch the manual switches to reach to reach the track to go uphill okay here we are we see the signal means 40 kilometers per hour allowed and we are crossing the line to reach right hand side track with our helper loco so you have to watch carefully the boiler pressure of course and the whole time don't exceed the maximum amount of 
of steam allowed to not exhaust the boiler at all. Okay, reduce a little bit the reverser and the regulator of course. There's a rule of thumb for the rice pan which means 80 is always allowed. Means the reverser setting plus the speed should give 80. Okay, it says the train is very heavy. If you get exhausted, uh, stop it and fill it up. Uh, fill, uh, let the steam get up again to the maximum pressure, but avoid to get stopped in the tunnel. Okay, here we are. The steam pressure is 12 out of 14 maximum. The water is okay. And if you use the hut, you will see on the right hand side always the amount of steam used contrary to the steam produced. Should always be green. I will show you in a moment. Okay, we open the roof hatch. Give a bit more. Okay, we reduce. The speed is okay. It's more or less 40. Or Let's pass the heavy train. The first one our loco is an oil fired loco and the helper loco, you don't have to care about it, is a coal fired loco. So, here we are. And now we have a boiler pressure of 14. That's okay. And here you see the hut, and the right hand side you have the steam usage compared with steam production and if it's red you use more steam than it can be produced you should always operate at the limit of green to red or red to green so we are climbing steep uphill Always keeping in mind our boiler pressure, cylinder chest pressure and the balance between production of steam and usage of steam. Okay, everything sounds, looks good. We have to close the fire door. I see a tunnel approaching. Okay, but everything is good. We are, can easily enter the tunnel. There's a helper loco next to us, right, at right hand side. And now I have to close the firebox door. We are entering the tunnel in good condition. past the tunnel, still having 12, 12 atmospheres in the boiler. Okay, now we fill a little water with the injector, life injector. This is on off and this is the amount of water and here we have the other injector. And we are climbing last kilometer or so uphill to reach our final destination the station of Disson okay water level is okay normally you don't have problems with it the 95 is very forgiving let me say in this respect okay boiler pressure 12 atmospheres that's okay and the speed is now 15 kilometers per hour nothing to worry we we are climbing safely and surely up to the 
end station and here we arrive more or less distant station our final destinations here we are yeah no problem to reach wonderful you made it up to here excellent performance now stop here and decouple your helper loco it says in your scenarios it will be all in English but I'm using here the German version okay now we stop and the scenario will shortly end now I show you a misfunction if you the boiler is too full in water you get priming priming means you see you get uh, ejected in the air and when coming back you see everything is filled with white and uh, priming occurred due to excessive water in the boiler please lower the water level before you can continue your journey okay use everything which uses steam now you see the effect by the missing cylinders now something more severe it's boiler explosion here we are we are up in the air and back down and then you see the effect and the damage model of the class 95 after a boiler explosion there you can't nothing do the scenario ends and the loco is wrecked okay this now brings me to the end of this tutorial and overview part 2 I wish you a lot of fun with the 5 locos and the 6 stake wagons loading, unloading and driving and riding have a lot of fun and bye bye, thanks BK